Hi there. Uh, I'm Patrice Derrington, uh, the director of the MSRED graduate program. And I'm looking to uh, give you a little preliminary uh, insight into some of the great curriculum that you'll have uh, with our program. Uh, so you've got lots of other details about uh, all the events and the activities and the uh, full-time nature and uh, immersion in our program. Uh, about the learning, it is designed to really take in the comprehensive activities that the real estate industry has under its umbrella. So that is going to include everything from development, planning, making development proposals, and those can be anything from what we call horizontal development, that is just buying large pieces of land and breaking it up, or you know, starting to build things on top, of, uh, on top of sites. So development activities, planning for those and so on, the design activities, uh, getting approval, also obviously learning how these things can be constructed. Uh, many, many developers uh, really see projects through the construction stage uh, and then they might sell them. So you're going to be you know, learning about that as well. Of course, importantly, uh, these buildings need to be funded. So the activities of investment and finance, that is loans and other forms of debt vehicles, uh, are part of what is in real estate. So that's another aspect. And then of course, there's the ongoing management of these uh, properties continuing to build their value, continuing to make them exciting for their tenants, and so on. So that's the comprehensive nature of real estate. And our curriculum is designed to cover all of that um, across all areas and in sufficient depth to uh, help you be prepared as a professional for that. So the way in which we approach it is we have three semesters the first semester is about learning the technical skills, uh, about uh, building a toolkit of knowledge and skills and an analytical tools uh, that you will apply to all sorts of real estate problems. So therefore, uh, what, what you do is uh, we, we're going to look at all of the dimensions, the aesthetic dimension, design, the site planning, the notion of a building within its urban context, that sort of thing is an important area to understand and really know how to analyze. Um, additionally, as I say, understanding the basics of construction, what the co different construction possibilities are and, and enough about them to make decisions as to what is going to be the best avenue to follow. Uh, and then, of course, legal aspects. Uh, real estate has a lot of legal contracts and a lot of legal undertakings and obligations. So knowing how uh, that affects your ability to do your real estate activity is very important. Uh, and then at, at right at the heart of everything is uh, learning how to structure finance, how to do financial analysis in order to get the return requirements how to uh, structure loan debt, uh, well, real estate debt as, as loans and so on, and how to get the right sort of loans for your property. So there's that, and then of course, project management. If you're managing this whole thing from your vision through to delivery, uh, even maybe through the life cycle of the building, then understanding how to manage that project or that whole operating activity right through is an important technical skill. We all think we can make great managers, but there are a lot of, you know, a lot of traps in real estate. And, um, but fortunately, there's a lot of good learning and a lot of good activities um, and, and procedures that you can uh, pursue and learn and apply. Uh, and then of course, you know, there's, there are other skills that are very critical. One is understanding community engagement. Another is negotiating. All of these things may seem as though they're just add-ons, but very critical to your ability to be a real estate professional. So in our first semester, we really tackle those 
fundamental pieces that come together uh, for you as a professional. Then the second semester, we then suggest that you think about which area, which general field of real estate you would like to go into now that you've seen the broad range in the, in the first semester. So some people will really want to be developers. They will want to envision things and they will want to get all the funding for it and they will want to manage that project and cut the ribbon and, uh, and so on. So that is really something of what we call a development stream. And it is very complicated uh, in all of the things that must be taken into account, very complex financing that you have to work through and so on. And then the other area that some people follow is that they take existing properties and they work out how to buy or sell those, uh, how to create fin finance for them, uh, equity and uh, the whole capital stack of equity and debt structures and so on. So that's really the finance and investment uh, side of real estate. So these are, these are just very general categories, but they really are the two, you know, two major areas. Uh, so we try to offer different courses in the fall semester that you can elect, or in the, sorry, in the second semester that you can elect to take in order to do some deep dives into those general areas. Uh, this is to get additional skills specific to that particular undertaking. So, you know, with finance, you'll learn about the CMBS, the Structured Security Debt Market. You'll learn about uh, REIT structures and so on. But everyone will be continuing with core courses, generally understanding the whole broad aspect of real estate development and the fundamentals of it, such as continued finance analysis and, and so on. So you will have some core cl classes, but you, then you will also be doing some electives. In the core classes and so on, we start to apply your skills. So we start to come up with case studies, real world examples, ways in which you start to use your tools and really practice with them on real estate development, you know, projects, solutions, deals, that type of thing. So that's the second semester. And then the third semester is about really pulling it all together. Everyone now pulls together their array of skills, their array of their, their broad knowledge and so on, and really works to practice it, try it out on a number of different comprehensive projects. You will in that uh, semester do your own, what we call a capstone project, which is a very, great opportunity. It is a whole deal book. You will put together uh, a real estate development project from the beginning, from getting a site through to understanding what building type and, and what format and what sort of program will go on that, that site, arrange the financing, uh, work out the development uh, strategy and uh, schedule, and then to look at what will happen upon completion. Are you going to sell it? Are you going to lease it up? And then how will it be managed? So that is what you do as your own project uh, in the final semester, although that's, there are lots and lots of similar ones in, in what I call mini capstone opportunities. Lots of courses that you'll be undertaking will do that in an abbreviated format. But the good thing is that in that final semester, you produce this whole deal book, which shows your overarching competence as a real estate professional. And it's a lot of fun. We get really interesting projects. As you can imagine, in New York City, we've got some good sources of projects, great sites, great complexities, uh, fascinating tenants to put in them, and so on. So it's really a wonderful culmination. What we do then is, is, of course, with those projects, we get everyone to compete. And so we run what we call a shark tower at the end of that. And that is the pitching of that deal. And we end up with a few finalists. And then we have one big party night where we uh, invite some serious industry leaders in and we have, you know, the runoffs. And uh, someone will win uh, the shark tower, but 
everyone really participates and joins in and then we party. So that's really um, the, the way in which we get to the culmination of your comprehensive capability and the demonstration of it to you, yourself, to us who, you know, want to make sure you're fully skilled as you leave. And then it's something that you can show to potential uh, employers, to anyone you want to uh, show off to. So a uh, very exciting way to finish the program. So that's generally how the three semesters go. Uh, this coming year, we'll be introducing a new, what we call stream. We've always had technology within our program. One way or another, we're using technology, we're learning about its possibilities and so on. But now we're going to be very specifically establishing what we call a prop tech stream. And this is going to be a series of courses dedicated to that. So in the first semester, you'll learn Python, database, uh, data science uh, processes, and so on. And then you will work in subsequent courses uh, on building applications or exploring the potential for applications in real estate areas. Uh, that is part of the elective, that uh, section that you'll be offered. So um, it's going to be an option that you'll be able to all look at and see if it's right for you. So that's pretty exciting. I think it's going to be the first time we're really offering it in a nice sequence. Uh, and we're very excited. Um, now, of course, just, you know, the classrooms, the projects, and so on, that's not the end of it. Real estate is something that you're living in constantly and you're experiencing. And the wonderful thing about our program is that we're in New York, where around us we have tremendous opportunities to do site visits, to invite in lots and lots of industry leaders to come and share their experience. We have a tremendous group of alumni that have gone through that are in different areas, ranging from hotel development in Miami to you know, a major REIT, uh, New York office building REIT, and uh, so these people come in and they, they share with you their uh, professional stories, they share with you their insights, uh, their read on the world and so on. So that's a very important part of your education and what we consider our curriculum. Uh, also, we, what we do is we uh, like to, even though we use, use New York as our Petri dish because it's a very, you know, very, very rich uh, laboratory for us to work in. We also understand that people come from everywhere. So we try and uh, so we run study trips um, and we usually do this in the third semester uh, where people can elect to apply their tools of real estate uh, across border. So we will typically do one with a destination in Europe, a destination in South America, a destination in Asia. Uh, and they will be just week long study trips with study, with classroom, uh, with lectures uh, in advance and, um, and a specific project. So this time you're doing a real estate project with the additional complexity of it being somewhere different, somewhere that's unusual to what you've been learning. So we think that that's, you know, a pretty good expansion of your, uh, of testing your capability and also, you know, having a good time seeing uh, a little different area. Now, also within the program, uh, there are a number of great clubs that students set up. Uh, we have some that are very long running. We have an international club. We have the Women in Real Estate Development Club. We have uh, the Private Equity Club. We have all sorts of different uh, student areas that Basically, you create on your own and um, we bring in the alumni from previous years and they tell you a little bit about what they did and how they went about it and so on. But basically, it's an opportunity for you to really dive in with your classmates that share an interest and um, look into these areas more. You can invite in speakers. We help you with that. Uh, you can do visits and, and so on. So club organization and club participation is, is a very great part of our activities and, and we really encourage it and support it. 
And then, of course, you know, our program is, we think it's the best, and but we have to get out and prove that. And there are a number of national competitions uh, for real estate students, and we encourage you to participate in those. And they range from being uh, very urban development oriented to being very financial structuring oriented. And they occur at the Urban Land Institute and Heinz Development and uh, Harvard University runs one and so on. So we really have, uh, import, we support our students in, in participating in those and uh, you know, really try to offer uh, faculty as advisors and so on. And we've had some great successes. We've certainly won in a number of these areas and we hope that you will bring your brilliance and also win some of those competitions while you're with us. So that's really a, um, about it in terms of a comprehensive overarching uh, description of our curriculum. The important thing to remember is that real estate is very broad. While we are really focused on getting you core knowledge, skills, understanding of concepts, analytical abilities, in the end, it's going to be your passion that it makes you, that enables you to select where you want to go and gets you to hone your skills to go out and be a professional in that particular area. And that's what we really want for you. So looking forward to you joining us. Thank you very much.